and I, the Wrestle Vessel, would just like to give a little plug to some of my merchandise for sale. We got wrestling videotapes, wrestling DVDs, both ones on clearance. We got autographed cards, autographed 8x10s, rare 1989 and 1990 8x10s released by the WWF. We got some classic books. Um, both wrestling, sports, and other kind of books. We got a Spin Fighter set of Razor Ramon and Bam Bam Bigelow, and much more. So please contact me, Mr. Wrestling Tape One, on YouTube, aka the Wrestle Vessel, and watch more great videos of the Wrestle Vessel and the Aftershock right here on YouTube. Welcome to One Minute. What the hell? So here we are playing uh, Atario brothers you heard that correctly atario brothers apparently uh somebody made a hack for the nes back in the day i'm not sure who did this but it's a super mario one hack called atario brothers and it looks like it's being played on the atari 2600 and it's literally the same thing as super mario except very, very pixelated, even more to the point of where it looks like it's on the Atari 2600. And by my judgment, uh, whether or not it looks like it's on the Atari 2600, I must say, maybe. Now I know for sure if it was on the Atari 2600, it would probably have that blue gradient effect in the background. Uh, the 2600, even though it's an old console, it could handle, I believe, 256 colors at once. Which it all allowed it to have the nice gradient effects on certain games. Uh, you don't see it on this, of course, because the NES was not able to, do, uh, to actually do that. <clears throat> Nonetheless, whoever modded this game, I guess hats off to them, because it does look kind of... Not 8-bit, but something that came out from around the uh, 2600 era. So here's another uh, Super Mario hack or mod, whatever the hell you want to call it. These were early mods back in the day. Uh, most likely they were modded back in the 90s. This one's called Afro Mario Brothers. And basically what this did was it gave Mario an Afro, as you can see here. And it kind of looks like the uh, the enemies have afros as well, which is quite interesting. And I guess for back then, even though it's just a simple little mod, it's... Back then, it was actually something that was pretty damn cool, interesting. And you can see it just completed the level, and Mario has one hell of a freaking afro. Look at that, that's pretty damn crazy. And you can see the power box right here. This afro on it. So whoever modded this, they chose to mod Mario Brothers, not the actual Super Mario Brothers game, but the original Mario Brothers game, which is quite unique. And I guess whoever did this, they did it pretty well. It looks just like an afro. Good job to whoever did modded this game. Not sure why the hell you want Mario to have an afro to begin with, but it is funny. Check that out. And here is another Super Mario Brothers hack, or clone, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, apparently this one is called Acid Brothers. Uh, it's, it's pretty obvious what this is. It's pretty much Super Mario on crack. Uh, as you can see here, this is actually a demonstration of what the game looks like. And it looks like whoever made this game was on crack. And, uh, what the hell? It's like right away you start off, not in level 1, but you start off in level whatever the hell this is, I'm not sure. You start off in a water world. And that looks pretty scary down there, you have like some type of a skeleton looking thing popping out of a... It's like a crackhead, I guess. And I guess you go straight down this way, and we have... We have water underneath water, check that out. So before the LSD simulator came out on PlayStation, uh, this existed. I guess you can see right here I'm stuck. What the hell kind of crap is that? And Mario looks kind of different. What the hell's wrong with him? So I guess we have to go down here to get around. 
Hopefully we don't get stuck. This looks like the uh, bridge from uh, pretty much the end of each world where you uh, defeat Bowser and uh, yeah, I guess it's the end of the level right there. Just thank you, Slick. Okay. What the hell is that? Is that the, the only level that exists? I guess, oh, whoever created this must have been on some type of a drug or something. I don't know. So here's another hack for Super Mario Brothers called Super Momo. I'm not sure what the hell that is, but it looks some, like some type of an anime thing right there. Uh, this was, as you can see there, probably hacked or modded back in 1999. You have a little pink looking character. Looks like some type of an anime thing. Uh, whoever created the character design it did a pretty good job. The animation's quite nice and the, the graphics actually look pretty decent. And we have a pinkish purplish looking castle. You can see the boxes right here are happen to be hearts. Instead of uh you know your normal looking boxes. And as you can see here we have a pink castle. And more pink tiles on the ground right there and Pink spike looking characters. Just you might as well not get in there because you would, you'll die. And when you die, that's what you look like. I guess this hack right here is not that bad. It's pretty harmful. Uh, basically, you get the same game that you get with the original Super Mario Brothers for just a makeover. Very, very interesting. So here we have another. Super Mario Brothers hack. It's called Angry Mario No, something like that. And uh, you can see the demonstration right here on the title screen looks very, very, very difficult looking. I mean, look what the hell is this? I mean, where the who the who the hell created that level design? Let's let's check this out. Whoa! I almost got hit by a f turtle, man. What the hell? What the hell is that? This is almost like you're being immediately thrown into like roll date or something like that. I mean, just be very, very careful. I'm afraid to walk. Ah, what the hell? This is this is definitely hard. I guess the reason why they call it Angry Mario is because it's gonna make you really angry, as you can see there. So this is just the beginning of the level right here. It's Wow, I made it! Yeah, just that little part by itself is an accomplishment. <sighs> Woo! Oh, forget about it. So whoever uh, designed this level, uh, they just really want to be a prick and create the hardest level that they can possibly create. And it looks like they actually took the time to actually lay things out specifically to be very difficult. Like this right here. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it looks like the enemies, they move a little bit differently in this. Ah, man. Like that damn turtle. Why the hell is it moving so fast? So here we have another Super Mario uh, Brothers hack. This one is called Super Wheelchair Mario. And it does not work. So as you can see here, we have another... Uh, Super Mario hack, uh, mod of whatever the hell you want to call it. This one's called Bobbio. And it looks really, really weird. I think I might skip this one because it's... What the hell is that? So here we have another uh, Super Mario hack. This is going to be our final one right here. Uh, this one's called Super Odd and Creepy. No, actually Super... Odd and crappy Mario Brothers. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks crappy. I'm not sure what the hell they did to the game, but... And once again, we uh, start off on this weird water level. Uh, I can see what's going on here. It's probably that same person that created that druggy-looking Mario game. 
What the hell is Mario wearing on his head? What is that? I guess back in the day, a lot of these mods existed, so... I want to say the first emulator that I have ever remember using was an NES emulator on DOS. And... I do remember playing a few Super Mario mods back in the day, or Super Mario hacks, whatever the hell you want to call them. And it was... Kind of stupid, but fun at the same time. And these are just a few examples of what you're going to find. There's a whole bunch of them. Thank you. 